what's up everybody? It's Maya. So, long time no see, long time no film. I don't really have an explanation other than the fact that, oh, wow, this fall has just been insane for me. Um, it was my first full-time semester in college, and you know what? That is actually quite a big, a big deal. Um, I didn't think it would be as crazy as it was, and I honestly ended up having very little time to do anything other than school and sleep. So, therefore, I didn't have a lot of time to film. Um, I also went through a spell. I was just feeling very uninspired to film. I wasn't feeling inspired to do much um, as far as YouTube and makeup and all that sort of stuff goes. So I feel like I need to take a little break, get re-inspired, and get ready to come back. And honestly, Christmas has kind of been a little bit of a re-inspiration for me. I don't know if it was just getting a bunch of new products or just being on a Christmas break, but I feel so much better and I really want to start filming again. But it was one of those things that I didn't feel like my heart was in it, so I didn't want to force it. And I felt like it was better to just take a break and and now I feel a lot better. Today's video is going to be my top 20 of 2018. Typically I do like a best of blank like whatever the year is but I figured let's narrow it down to 20 products because I had like 27 here and I was like little much we're gonna be here for literally probably 47 minutes and I'm looking at all these products right now and I'm all really excited to share them with you and tell you about them so yeah before we hop into the video please be sure to check out my social medias my Instagram and Twitter are right over here all my others will be in the description box below so check them out if you wanna if not no pressure but uh yeah without further ado let's hop right in Okay, so I'm going to start out with the foundations, and I have two right here, and they are both drugstore, so that's awesome. Um, the first one is the cheapest, and it is the Wet n Wild Mega Cushion Foundation. This is in the shade Buff Beige. This is my summer shade. Clearly not matching me right now. Um, but this is what it looks like, and honestly, this foundation lasted me through a good amount of the spring and summer. This was like the easiest foundation ever. I literally used it almost every single time I did my makeup throughout the spring and summer because I literally could just tap my beauty blender in there, pat it all over my face, and it was done. Quick, beautiful coverage, beautiful staying power. It just made my skin look so fresh and healthy and dewy, but not too dewy. It was just a really, really nice product, very easy to use. I'd say like light to medium coverage, and honestly, the price is right. You can usually get coupons for Wet n Wild, and I don't know, I just really, really liked it. I love the cushion effect of it too. One, it's convenient, and two, I just love how cushion foundations apply so evenly and nicely and beautifully, at least most of them do. So this one I really liked, and I highly recommend you check it out if you're looking for a nice, natural type of foundation. And the same thing with the other foundation. This is the Flower Light Illusion Luminous Makeup Nude Skin Feel. So this I actually discovered I want to say it was end of summer, beginning of fall. Yeah, I think it was the end of summer. And this is in the shade Classic Tan M3, which again, clearly not my shade right now. But I can mix it with my white foundation and we're all good. Um, but anyways, this one definitely has more coverage than this guy right here. But it has that same sort of feel. Definitely a very hydrating, dewy, yet good lasting power. And I feel like that's kind of been my vibe all year is I want dewiness, I want everything to look natural, but I don't want to look greasy and I also need it to last because I'm wearing makeup for longer than I ever have. I'm wearing makeup for like 12 hours a day almost every single day, which has never been my thing. But because I'm at school all day and then I usually have things at night, I need makeup that's going to last. So this stuff does last. It's lasted through heat, sweat, I wear this anytime I need a foundation to look beautiful but also stay and stay looking beautiful for the entire time. And by the way, I'm about normal skin type. I've gotten more combo lately. Normal to dry, but I've been a little bit more combo lately. So if that helps, both these foundations work for me. Okay, next we have another face product. And honestly, throughout the entire year, I've been so into cream products lately, more than I ever have in my entire life. And I don't know if it's just my styles have changed or there's been better like products coming out. Um, but I have been into cream highlighters, cream blushes, cream bronzers the entire year. So this one is the Wet n Wild Mega Cushion Contour. It's in the shade Cafe Au Soleil. And I believe this is the only shade, which kind of sucks. I wish they had more shades. Um, 
but this is awesome. It's actually a brand new one. And this is what it looks like. It just looks like a mini cushion foundation, but I love using this with my beauty sponge. I'll just tap it in here, tap it all over my face, anywhere where I would put bronzer. And it just makes your skin look so gorgeous. It's so beautiful. Like you will look like you just stepped out with a nice glowy tan all over your face, but without it looking fake. I use this on days where I'm wearing literally concealer and this, and I'll do that, like that'll be it. Um, I'll use it on days where I'm not wearing any makeup at all just to add a little bit of bronziness to my face. I absolutely love this product and it lasts really long too. And it makes my other products last. So yes, I highly recommend this. If you're my skin tone, a little bit darker, a little bit lighter, you'll probably be able to work with this, but anything super light or getting into the more like medium dark, dark deep type of shades, I don't know how this is going to work for you. I wish they would come out with more shades because I hate recommending something that not everybody can get their hands on, but it is a really good product. And hopefully if we can get the word out that people really like this product, we can get more shades made because I definitely think Wet n Wild, you need to do that. Okay, so moving into some blushes. I have two right here. One's a more glowy blush and then one's a little bit more of a matte blush. So the first blush that I'm gonna talk about is another Wet n Wild product. Apparently I just love Wet n Wild this year. This is the Baked Blush in Hummingbird Hype. This is from their Hummingbird collection. I think that was from the spring summertime. And this is what it looks like. Mine's currently like a little bit broken. So I'm not gonna like lift it up. I don't want it to fall out. Um, but it is such a beautiful blush, you guys. It is absolutely stunning. It's kind of like a peachy color with some gold duochrome to it almost. It just looks so beautiful and glowy on your skin. If you're darker, you could totally use this as like a blush topper or a highlight even. And if you're lighter skin, it's definitely going to be a beautiful, beautiful blush. I'm not sure if you can still find this. I think I saw it on wetandwild.com not too long ago. So if you're able to find it at a store or wetandwild.com, definitely pick it up. It is super, super beautiful. I think it's only like $4.99 or something too, which is insane. And it just really looked so beautiful, especially throughout the spring and summer. Made my cheeks glowy, made me look so bronze and jello. I loved it. And then this second blush is definitely a more fall, winter appropriate type of blush. This is the Note Cosmetics Luminous Silk Compact Blusher in 05 Desert Rose. So this is what it looks like right here. It's a beautiful, like peachy, orangey color. And at first I was like, mm, this is not my thing. Like it seems too orange. Like that's just gonna be too intense on my face. But you guys, whew, this blush is beautiful. Absolutely beautiful. I literally used it every single day in the fall. Not even joking, like from the end of summer into fall, used it every single day. It was the only blush I was using for a while. And the reason is because it's matte, but it definitely has a kind of sheen to it. Very similar to like the butter bronzer, if you're familiar with that. Um, it's definitely like a satin matte type of thing. And you just tap your brush in here once, tap it off, and you can do both cheeks perfectly fine. It gives you like a very um, model, blushed, flushed, just got out of the gym type of look. Uh, that makes sense, it sounds kinda gross, but it makes sense in my head. Um, definitely like that very trendy, like flush cheek type of look that's definitely been prominent this year. It is so beautiful and I highly recommend it. I know it was sold out recently on Ulta.com because I had a sale. So if you can pick this up and find it, it is so good. And honestly, this thing will last you so long because I, like I said, I used it every single day in the fall and you can still see the like indentation of the brand name in there and I don't know how. I have no idea how. Okay, I have two highlighters to talk about. So the first one is actually a repurchase. I had to repurchase it because mine shattered. And this is the Ofra Beverly Hills highlighter. So if you guys watched pretty much any of my videos this year, you probably would have seen me use these two shades right here as my inner corner highlight because it is my all time favorite inner corner highlight, you guys. Oh, I hit pan on both of these shades and I was really close to hitting pan, I think on this guy too. I was hitting pan all over the place and I dropped it one day and I dropped it like probably 10 or 15 times because I've had it for a while and it shattered everywhere and I literally, almost started crying. If I hadn't been almost finished with my makeup right then, I would have started sobbing because this, whew, I have not found an inner corner highlight that has looked as good as this. I've used every single white shadow I can find. I've used high end highlighters. I've used low end highlighters, trying to find something comparable to this because this broke, I want to say it was like October. 
and I have not found anything <laughs> just like it. So I waited till Christmas to get a replacement to put it in here and I am just so excited to have it back. It is so beautiful. These are super intense highlighters. Oh, I mean, they're so beautiful. And I like that you have all these different shades in here so you can really find a shade that works for you, whether you're dark, light, medium, any any sort of shade, you can find your shade in here. And they also work great as eyeshadows. Okay, and then the last highlighter I have is from ColourPop. This is the shade Here Kitty Kitty, and this is part of their pressed highlighter line. So this is definitely a more recent love, but I just needed to mention it because I feel like it's so underrated. I mean, out of all the ColourPop highlighters, this is the one I hear mentioned the most, but I still think it could be mentioned more. So it's right down here. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's kind of like a pinky champagne definitely like a true champagne color definitely has that little bit of pinkiness in there but also a little bit of white a little bit of gold it's so beautiful especially on me when i'm more fair it's my go-to highlight because i can just kind of swirl this around on my cheeks and it looks so glossy and beautiful almost glass like and it's not too intense which i love because something like this this is going to blind people this is going to be a little bit more wearable a little bit more subtle and they do have a ton of other shades i just really like this shade for my skin tone but Again, they have a lot, so you can find one for your skin tone and the formula is just beautiful. So I highly recommend this one in particular, but definitely check out their other shades too. Oh, I'm sorry, I was mistaken. I have one more highlighter to mention. And this one, I'm like, I'm not sure if I should mention it or not, but I'm going to because it really was such a favorite of mine. This is the Anastasia Beverly Hills Omri Z highlighter. So mine's broken. I dropped it several times because I use it a lot. So whenever I was tan, I would just kind of put this all over my body, my shoulders, my arms, my legs, and it just gave me the most beautiful glow. Oh, it was so gorgeous. It doesn't really have any glitter in here, which I like. It's definitely a very like creamy, golden champagne type of highlighter. Let me swatch. As you can see down here, it's definitely a little bit deeper, which makes it really versatile for light to deep skin tones. Honestly, I feel like I could wear this because it has those nice, rich gold undertones. It's so beautiful on the face, on the body, on the eyes even. Like, you can literally use this for any for anything. It is so beautiful. And I'm not sure if it's still available because they know they just did a restock. I'm not sure if it sold out or not, but... They seem to be bringing it back and taking it away, so if you're able to get your hands on this possibly, definitely, definitely look for it and pick it up. It is so worth it. I haven't really found anything like it, and honestly, the price isn't even that bad. It's like $25, $28, which I don't think is terrible, so really beautiful highlight, especially for the summertime. Okay, so this next product is probably not going to come as a surprise to many of you if you have watched my videos at all, um, but these are the Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit Eyeshadows. These are in the shades Cashmere Love and Shells and Whistles. So here they are both swatched. This is Shells and Whistles over here, definitely like a rose gold liquid metal type of shade, and then this over here, Cashmere Love, definitely has some more chunky glitter to it. Definitely a more dramatic type of look, but I love them both. They last so long on the eyes. They're so easy to apply. I love this one for an everyday eye look when I just want a little bit of shine on the lid, but nothing too dramatic. And then I love this for a good smoky eye. They are both so, so, so stunning. I love them so much. You can find these, pick them up. I see them pretty much almost everywhere and they have so many different shades, which I mean, they have bright shades, they have other neutral shades, just so gorgeous in general. I love these guys. Okay, another eyeshadow. This is the ColourPop Single Shadow in Tassel. This is a metallic, and as you can see, it is also shattered. Ah! My hands are literally covered in glitter right now, like it's insane. Okay, so I'm gonna try to get a swatch out of here as best as I can for you, but this is kind of like a, I don't even know how to describe this. It It's like a white, with silver glitter in here. Yeah, you can't even really see that down here. But this is the perfect like eye top coat, if you will. So last year I mentioned Paisley from ColourPop, which is one of their like ultra sheers, but I think they're called like ultra glitters now or something like that. Um, absolutely stunning shade. I still love that one as well. But this one is a little bit more intense and a little bit more cool tone. So if I want a more cool toned look or something a little bit more sparkly, I will definitely go for this. Also, if you have an eyeshadow that's looking a little too dark or a little too muddy, I will just take this, 
pat, 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 and it just fixes it and makes it look so gorgeous and sparkly and almost like that messy sort of vibe. Similar to what I have on right now, but I'm actually not wearing this. I'm wearing a different ColourPop shadow. Um, but it, it, long story short, it's gorgeous. So any of ColourPop's like metallic and ultra glitter shades are shades that you can do that with. Um, like today I'm wearing Ladybird from ColourPop and it's the same sort of thing. Very sparkly, very metallic. Pat, 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 makes your eye look, look gorgeous. So highly recommend this one. If you can't find this one, I love Paisley and Ladybird is the one I'm wearing right now. Okay, let's talk about eyeshadow palettes. So I have three here and the first one, Soft Glam from Anastasia. This was like, whew, this was the first Anastasia palette I ever purchased for myself. I felt so accomplished doing it. I purchased it on my last day of spring semester of last year. I was very proud of myself. I finished my first year of college. And you guys, as you can see, I've hit pan on this shade right here. I love this palette so much. It is the most like versatile palette I have in my collection. I wear this to my prom. I use this on anybody typically when I do their makeup and they just kind of want like a natural sort of glam look. This is your guy right here. If I don't want to think about what eye look I want to do and I just kind of want to slap something on quick, this is the palette I will go to. You have cool tones, you have warm tones, you have neutrals, you have a few shimmers in here. But it is just overall like probably the best palette that I've ever used. <laughs> like that's that's kind of a dramatic statement, but literally like the best palette. I would purchase this over and over again because it is so good. So out of all the Anastasia palettes that I've tried, I've tried Norvina and Modern Renaissance and this one. Out of all of them, this one is the best. Okay, two ColourPop products. So the first one is ColourPop Single Shadows. So this is a mix of Makeup Geek, MAC, and ColourPop Single Shadows. They are so beautiful. I love the ColourPop shadows. This one right here, Snake Eyes. I mean, look at the metallic on that. Like, do you guys see that? It is so beautiful. I also love this shade right here. It's like purpley shade, which is called Going Steady right there. I mean, you guys can see how pigmented they are. This is this brown one right here, which is called Note to Self. They are so beautiful and they come in so many different shades. They're also only like, I don't know, like, five bucks or something, something really cheap. And you can get them in little compacts or you can get them in single shadows, which is what I do because they're cheaper and I can just pop them in my Z palette. But look at how beautiful they are. They are so pigmented and creamy and beautiful. Probably my favorite single shadow formulation ever. They're so, so, so good. I just absolutely love them. I mean, look at that. They're so good. They blend so well. They last so long. Like everything you want in a shadow right here. Okay, and then another eyeshadow product that I have to mention is something very near and dear to my heart. This is the Dream Street palette that Kathleen Lights did with ColourPop. So first of all, I love Kathleen. She is beautiful, and I literally loved every single one of her collaborations. None of them have been bad. They've all been so good. Um, but this palette in particular is absolutely amazing. I got it for Christmas last year, so I've had it for like exactly a year. And this shade right here, which was kind of like a purpley greenish duochrome, fell out one day in the middle of a video and just done. So I don't have that shade, which is okay. I never really used it anyway. But this palette, oh, every time I open this palette and make a look with it, I'm happy. No matter what that look is, I feel beautiful. I feel happy. I feel excited. And honestly, no other palette really makes me feel that way. I wore this shade right here on my prom day and I used this entire palette for my graduation makeup. And oh, <laughs> prom and graduation were two of like the best events that happened to me this year. I went to Africa, I had prom, and I had graduation and those are like the two best things that happened to me this year. And this eyeshadow palette for some reason, every time I open it up, just makes me like all happy and excited inside. And I don't know if I'm PMSing or what, I know I'm PMSing actually, but I don't know if it's the hormones or what, but I feel like I'm gonna cry right now because between, honestly, get over here between soft glam and dream street right here like these went with me through so many times in my life they made me feel beautiful no matter what my mood was if i was nervous mad excited happy like they just they made me feel beautiful and that's the point of makeup is to feel beautiful it's not to be wearing the most expensive product it's not to be wearing the sparkliest, the newest, the best. It's about finding what makes you feel beautiful and what makes you feel you. And I feel like these two palettes definitely are it. They just made me feel special. They made me feel beautiful and I love them so much. So Kathleen, thank you for that, for making Dream Street because it makes me feel absolutely beautiful and stunning 
no matter how I feel inside every single time. So thank you. Okay, so I have two more eye products to mention. Um, one is a mascara and one is an eyeliner. Um, the first is the Bad Gal Bang Mascara from Benefit. I'm wearing it on my eyes today. And I originally got a mini sample of this and I love it so much. It makes your lashes look so long and beautiful. And it's a little bit of a tricky mascara to use, but you just have to hold the brush like and blink. And not like wiggle, or try to like coat it on a lot. I use it as the last mascara I use. I use three different ones. This is the last one I use. It just really elongates your lashes and makes them look so beautiful and dramatic and voluminous. And the fact that I purchased a full-size mascara, there are only two mascaras that I've ever purchased full-size that were high-end. And they're Benefit Roller Lash and Benefit Bad Gal Bang. They are an excellent combo together and I highly recommend this. And then moving into the drugstore realm of things, the NYX Epic Ink Liner. This is the black one. Favorite liquid liner from the drugstore and probably ever. It is so easy to use. It's really beautiful and it's black, it stays, it's inky, it's matte. I love it so much and it is such a good liner. Excellent, excellent liner. So speaking of things that make me feel beautiful, I'm gonna mention the lashes that I wore on both my prom night and my graduation and pretty much any special event throughout 2018. These are the Ardell Wispy Lashes and the Ardell Studio Effects Wispies. So they're the same line, the Wispies line from Ardell. Um, I love the Studio Wispies. They're a little bit more dramatic, but the regular Wispies are just as gorgeous. So I wore Studio Effect Wispies on my graduation and my prom and oh, they are so beautiful. They just go really nicely with my eyes. Um, they're dramatic, but they're not too dramatic. They just really make your eyes look beautiful. And you can tell that you're wearing lashes, but they're not so over the top that you feel like you have spiders on your eyes. You know what I mean? So highly recommend Ardell Wispies. Any of them, they're good. I love them. Okay, and then for lip products, I actually don't have it here with me right now. So I'll insert a picture right here. <laughs> it's the Smashbox Be Legendary Lipstick. So this is the cream one. There's a matte one and a cream one. So this is the cream one, and this is from their holiday collection last year. And I have two of them. One's in Audition and one's in Famous. I wear these lipsticks every single day of my life. If I'm doing any sort of natural makeup, this is what I wear. I keep them in my car, so I just kind of swipe them on, especially the shade Audition. It's a beautiful, like, mauve -y, kind of pinky shade. Absolutely love them. They feel so comfortable on my lips. I have very dry lips, so even when my lips are chapped beyond belief, these lipsticks work and make my lips feel good. So absolutely love them. They are a little bit expensive, but I definitely want to buy a full-size one when I run out of these two. They are so, so good. And if you can find a sample of them anywhere, or maybe you have them lying around and you haven't pulled them out in a while, check them out again. They just look absolutely beautiful on the lips. So comfortable, so flawless. I love them. Okay, and then I have two tool products to mention here. The first one is the Sonia Kashuk sponge. This is her beauty sponge. You can get it in a pack of two for seven bucks, which is such a good deal. Or you can buy one of them for five. I believe that's still the going rate. But I have like six of these lying around. <laughs> Not even joking. I have one back here, um, but it was kind of dirty. So I pulled this one out because it was less dirty. Um, these are so nice. I love how squishy they are. They're not too squishy though. So you still have a little bit of substance there. Um, they are big when they're wet. This one's not wet, this one's dry, but they're big and you can just tap it all around your face and you're done. I love the pointed tip as well and I love the flat end. I've used, like done my whole face with this. I've used one end for my concealer, the other end for powder, this side for cream contour, and then this for foundation. So easy. I love this. It's pretty much the only sponge I use on a day-to-day -day basis. Kind of experiment with other ones, but I always end up coming back to this guy because it's so convenient and so easy. And again, they're such a good price. So probably the best sponge I've ever used, even better than Beauty Blender better than beauty blender the, the best sponge at the drugstore for sure hands down and then the last product that i have to mention this is the morphe m433 brush and i have three of them and they're all dirty so whoops um but these are my favorite blending brush for the outer corners ever which is why i have three of them because i use them constantly if one's super dirty then i'll use one of the other ones I just love how perfectly these go into the outer corners. You can fluff color around, you can pack it on. Literally, probably one of the best brushes I use. This is the only brush that I have multiples of. I don't have multiples of any other brushes. I have tons of brushes, no multiples. This is the only one that I have multiples of. And that really says something to me because there's a reason why I have three of these and it's because I love them that much and I need them in my life. And if I lose one, I need to have two more. If I lose that one, I need to have at least one more. So. Yeah, these are excellent. If you need a good outer corner 
blending, packing on type of brush. I highly recommend these. They will not disappoint. I also love that they have the natural hair too, so they don't pick up too much product. They just look so beautiful and they wash well. I've washed all of these, I think twice or three times. Definitely a couple of times and they're still looking gorgeous. So yeah, Morphe, you really did it with these ones. I love them. So that is it for my top 20 from 2018. I hope you guys enjoyed hearing about my favorite products, seeing me almost cry over eyeshadow, and hearing about why I have three of the same blending brushes. If you like this video, please give it a big thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already. Leave a comment if you wanna telling me what your favorite product of 2018 was. It doesn't have to be a makeup product, it just has to be any product in general, it can be food. Actually, please tell me what your favorite food was because I need some new snacks in my life. Um, and yeah, I will see you in my next one. Mwah. Thank you.